Good morning, CoverGirls. Rocking the Barcelona jersey this morning in honor of the global tariffs that have been kicked off. But in today's video, I want to highlight some of the 2025 data points from the ADA's Health Policy Institute. Uh, not much has changed from their data from 2024 with uh, a couple little caveats. So uh, for 2025, the dentist's top three concerns coming into the year are staffing shortages, dealing with insurance, rising overhead costs. Uh, one and three are uh, a little bit in the same vein, um, but the thing that really uh, is uh, surprising to me is those are the exact same concerns from 2024. And I think if they did that study in 23, it'd probably be the same. Uh, I don't think anything has changed on that front since at least 2020. Uh, there are, a side note on that, there are starting to be a little bit more uh, hygiene numbers increasing from graduation rates. So that's a little bit of a, of a pressure release, but still the numbers are massively upside down from a supply and demand standpoint. So hopefully those graduation rates continue uh, because the industry really needs it. The, the one big change I think for this year that, that wasn't talked about last year is the potential cuts to Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, not knowing uh, potentially how big those cuts could be. I've seen upwards of $800 billion of a Medicare, Medicaid cut over the next 10 years. Obviously, that would uh, have some ramifications downstream. Uh, we at Lad Dental Group take all insurances, so for us, that could potentially be uh, something that we are um, looking to change with or adapt with the times come 2026. So we are keeping our head on a swivel there. The one other data point from the ADA's Health Policy Institute that I found interesting was um, another year of more than 1% of dentists moving from solo practices to either group practices or DSOs. So I think that I think that trend is going to continue primarily because the top three concerns for at least the last five years, I, I think, are still going to be tough to overcome this year, being uh, staff shortages, dealing with insurance and rising overhead costs. So comment down below. Let me know if you agree with uh, these data points. Let me know if you're surprised by anything. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday Eve. Cheers.